Do you like fish sticks? Hey everyone, it's Orf here and thank you for stopping by and today we're doing another reaction video and we are listening to the entire Vultures 2 record. Uh, I kind of I kind of have a feeling of what it's going to sound like already, but I just thought I'd film my reaction for your entertainment. You you freaking you shrimp or should I say you you vultures? <laughs> So we're gonna jump right into it. This is the entire Vultures 2 record by Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign. Here we go. Three, two, one, and play. It sounds like the THX um, movie thing, you know? Okay, kind of probably shaping up to be to, to be way way more epic than it's actually gonna be. Sounds like he's trying to emulate the early 2000s sound. She know what I like. Get me in a twilight. Head it to the high rise. I'm getting tired of this uh, chord in the background. But I slide in it like a drive by. The industry don't like me. Tell them pussy niggas likewise. They try to hit me with the side night. This beat's trying to be ill, but I don't think it delivers. You know what this sounds like, actually? When I was, like, a teenager, I used Audio Tool a lot, which was, like, a free doll for making music. And uh, I made this beat where I just picked 10 totally random drum samples, right? Could be a hi-hat, could be a crash cymbal, could be a kick drum, and just randomized them in eight spaces and made each eighth note uh, a, 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 random, a random sound. And the beat sounded like this. It was like that's kind of that's kind of what that sounded like. So basically, that beat has been made before, and I know that because it was made by yours truly in eighth grade. So put it that way. Yeah, this right. Like, I think they're trying to make it funky. It's not really working out. That was not as epic of an opener than I think they thought it was. Where is this going? Come on, man, you were building up for something epic. That wasn't. I feel like Kanye West is just like, it's just like his name is Kanye West, so he doesn't need to try anymore. I mean. There's a lot of crazy shit that dude says and does, but I'm saying I think 
Ty Dolla Sign obviously has more talent, right? I mean, neither of these guys are making good music, but like Kanye's even worse, and he's kind of, I think, the star of the record. Uh. <sighs> that was such a garbage transition. You actually could have made that good, but that was a garbage transition. Mm. This, this sounds like a worse version of the Lil Yachty and James Blake collab. One of those tracks sounded a lot like this, but it was better. <laughs> what? 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 This so this is just so repetitive. I feel like this is honestly like insulting. What the what? <laughs> what? Eh. Anyway, I feel like this is like kind of insulting to all your fans that were so loyal to you back in the 2000s, early mid 2010s. Like, coming out with something like this is just kind of like a huge middle finger to them. Clearly you have the resources to do something better than this. So this one's featuring Playboy Cardi, Don Tolliver, Kodak Black. Uh, the features make this one more bearable, I guess. So far, it's super repetitive, but I don't know, it's a little bit, you know, better than the first two. Interesting delivery. Don't really care for this feature, but still, in general, yeah, this track is better than the first two. I'll give it that. Here's a question. A lot of people have been roasting Vultures and Vultures too. What do you think Kanye's last good album was? Throw it in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. Was it Donda? Was it Graduation? You tell me. This is ass. This one's ass. Fried? This is ass. This <laughs> fucking... Your motherfucking brain is fried if you're gonna release something like this. This is terrible. 
them blow jobs and I black. She said she's starving, order her surprise. Then I ate the breast in the thighs. I'm not even gonna sit here and like you know, like complain about the lyrics because I mean I know there's a lot of like Kanye stands that are just gonna like find something to say about it but I I'm very aware how ridiculous Vultures was with its with its lyrics and its themes its themes and just how uh, yeah hateful that album was so clearly you know you know, like multiple people have said, Kanye is is very much not sorry for that, and he's just gonna continue doing bullshit like that. I order fries and I lick the breast and the thighs. What is this garbage? What is this? okay? Like for real, man. What is this garbage? This delivery is so like immature. I don't know how to describe it, but it's bad. I guess, I guess if I'm looking forward to anything, it's the features, which I don't even know why so many better, more pop. What the hell was that? <laughs> this beat is horrible. This like vocalization is cringy. It's terrible. But anyway, uh, I'm surprised so many like good, much better artists are willing to collaborate on this record. Uh, so that's just I guess what I'm looking forward to. Uh, I hope that. The collaborators, the features will give me a breath of fresh air. Oh my god. <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> How is this thing 51 minutes? I don't want to <laughs> sit through this. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's future. She looking pretty, she looking gorgeous. We making love, but we heartless. She want fast shots, give her fast shots. Back in the main box, your hoe gets laid, yeah. Trying to get saved, yeah. Who am I to hate, yeah? She want to get paid, get my whole bread. What is it with all of these artists coming on the Vultures records and saying they just want to get paid? <laughs> Oh, damn. I just put your bitch on another bitch and hit them both. All of a sudden, he a friend when I send a bitch a toast. When she want attention, she disguise it as a post. I forgot to mention she was mine before she yo. She gonna need to You did not deserve to go a cappella right there. That was not an earned a cappella section. She just want to pop a pill and go to space. Also, Again, it just comes off as pretentious bullshit. I spoke too soon because, like I said, I was looking forward to the features, but uh, this one's actually kind of underwhelming, despite Future hanging out with it. I'm trying my best to pay attention to these lyrics, but they're garbage. <laughs> I guess if I could say anything about this one, it has the best chord progression melody so far they could have done a lot better with it though they could have done more with that what 
What's the name of the only song that was manageable? Field Trip? I mean... Lyrical quality was, at least from what I heard and what I remember, was pretty mid, but at least it had a lot of features on it. That was the best one so far. I don't think I don't think you did any of these things in your marriage, Kanye. You know that's where they at. You know that's where they at. Beverly Hills. You know that's where they at. I don't really want to go back to that. That delivery was ass. That was terrible. He's just in his head like, I am God. <laughs> By the way, my criticisms extend to both of these guys, like Ty Dolla Sign and Kanye West. Maybe, like, someone could survive without a husband and, and even do well in life without one of those. Uh, you gotta get out here, baby. You gotta get out here, baby. Baby. Do you wanna live? Lifestyle. Do you wanna live this lifestyle? Do you wanna live this lifestyle? She says she ready to go. She says she, she says she, she says she ready. Who thought that was a good idea? Talking dirty like I'm Natalie. Give me my lip service like Sally. Coding and cocaine as Lisa Turtle and it's Kelly. Ice up in my veins, old flames trying to melt me. I twist my tail as Biff tight at the end. Okay, this sounds ridiculous. This, like, this sounds horrendous in the mix. Why not put that, like, in the background so that it's present but not the forefront? <laughs> That's so bad. Like, I feel like they're they're actually trying to pull together something with this track. Like, at least the the delivery with Lil Wayne is like better on here, and then just this like ridiculous. Ridiculous sounding screaming like digital sound in the background is horrible. It removes all like seriousness that the song is trying to achieve. Could have been even the slightest bit compelling and it just doesn't even come off that way at all anymore. 
Looking for a little baby that gon' know how to act Remember how I grew up when I seen you in that black bikini Go to the city, you ain't never been in Lamborghini I actually like that. That was cool. That was cool. But again, this, the mix and that ridiculous sound is ruining. Why is it still going? It's permeated through the entire track. <laughs> uh, all you had to do was remove that and you would get a track that's like twice as good. Oh, so you're trying to do a concept thing by pulling some of your jankest lyrics on this whole record back into this track? They... This literally got ruined. Like, um, it seems like purposefully. Why would you... <laughs> why... Why would you bring out these corny, ridiculous lyrics back into this song that was one of the better songs so far and you just killed it. You just killed any sort of momentum that you were starting to get here. Stop. Stop. Stop it. You know that's where they at. You know that's where they at. Got a plan for Beverly Hills. You know that's where they at. I don't really want to go back to that. If I do, I know I'm going back to back. Mm. Breaking backs to backs. Imagine that. That's so hazardous. So I handle that. All you really need is a husband. Show you love and stop. Stop. Were you trying to like tease us with something slightly better? Just to make us, just to like torture us by listening to this crap again? All you need is a husband who gon' touch you, who gon' rub you, who gon' hug you, who gon' kiss you, who gon' miss you with no issue, with no issue. Shut up. Oh my goodness. This is driving me insane. All right, we're going to take a short intermission. Dishes washed. Bladder drained. <laughs> intermission over. Is that better or worse? Guess I'll find out in the finished video. Let's move on. We're not even halfway done yet. This is track nine called Maybe. I swear, if you say any bullshit nonsense about your ex-wife or current wife at this point. What the fuck were you thinking when you, when you recorded that line? Maybe, possibly, if, thought a song, this, that suit tight, shit, that marathon, shit, that take it out, shit, that color now be I want you tonight. I need you tonight. Are Kanye fans just like sitting around like getting super high listening to this track and like you're not even paying attention to it until like one part where some guy goes and you're like, oh fuck. That part was awesome. This is the greatest album of all time. That's honestly what it feels like sometimes. This, none of this album has made me want to get up. Nothing. Especially not this track. This is like one of the most chill tracks on here. Are they just recording these vocal lines and ad-libs and then just like putting them over the beats at random? Uh, 
that's what I think of the album. Take that. <laughs> that actually could have been like not a terrible instrumental, as a matter of fact. But they had to put their dumbass vocals over that. This one's featuring North and Chicago West. Oh boy. It's not much of a feature. Do, do they know what that means? Again, there's something about some of the production, at least on two of these songs now, that feels like they're trying to copy the James Blake shit that, that, that he was doing with Lil Yachty. And, and obviously it's worse on here. What is this? This is this is a pointless track so far. I mean, I get it. It's it's featuring the West, but it's getting a little, little pretentious, a little ridiculous at this point. <laughs> a little? What am I saying? Very much so. Fuck, this gotta be like the most dysfunctional family. <laughs> oh my god. Poor kids. Poor kids. Yeesh. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? If this guy was your dad? Oh. Oh my god. That's like an existential. Like, fuck. <laughs> This sounds like they're trying to copy the, the James Blake Lil Yachty thing. It really does sound like bad cameo. What the hell? This reminds me more of a Kanye thing. Young Thug, okay, Leon Bridges. Okay, this is like rudimentary, but it is not bad. Starting to get boring. Gotta pick it up a bit. Eh, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Uh, I'm seeing something that again could have 
been more fully realized if they cared about their delivery a little more if they kind of like increased the production quality just a bit that that could have been cool but again it's just like so many failed opportunities so far god how much longer is this <laughs> 21 minutes 21 minutes we can do it I'm not having a good time though with this one. I was actually a lot more interested listening to the whole Infinite album by Eminem a few days ago because at least there, like, even though the instrumentation, the production was pretty boring and pretty lackluster, I was at least interested in, like, the history around it, of course. I was interested to see Eminem's beginnings. Why would I be interested in late-stage Kanye? <laughs> Why? What makes what makes you think I'm going to be interested in any of this ridiculous shit? Uh, the ending was a little weird, but I like I like what they were going for. Again, it's not fully realized, but I appreciate what they were going for there. There's like little bits, little pieces that I'm like, oh, okay, uh, you know, like cool, right? And the rest of it is just like horrendous. Devil's advocate is advocating for the devil. Was that a real lyric that they just used? No texting, just call missing. We fighting, you won't listen. You right, we both tripping. It's game time. Matter of fact, it's shade time. The past year been a strange time. Visitations on FaceTime. And who gon' break whose heart first? Always just breaks mine. Looking for blessings that God a hand. What? Trying to just raise the family. Somebody should raise the nanny. I'm trying to leave you alone, but that last text was courtesy of Patron. Baby, yeah. 5.30, the car missing oh, emotions. It's all just Does this, is, is like, is the music what makes it justified for him? He's like, oh, I sent these really shitty messages because I got too smashed on Patron. But if I put it in a song, that makes it okay. <laughs> oh. I need a team of psychologists, philosophers, neuroscientists to study these guys. <laughs> Mainly Kanye, obviously, needs to be studied by scientists as to how he comes to the conclusions that he does. I wonder if he's aware of it or, or if he's actually this ludicrous. Everybody want too much of us. Everybody except for us. 
I don't know what's left of us. Right away, we're not the dust. Trying to write what's left of us. Trying to write what's left of us. Why don't know the net in us? Why don't know the red of us? Everything they said. Half of those lines were mumbled to the point of obscurity. I don't know if I get it, does. You know it was, you know it is, you know the kid, you know we did, and I know it is. I want this, I want to go with it, I want to go with it, and I go with it. So I'm gonna go with it, and I throw with it, and we going in. You sound smashed recording these lines right now. Like it's so slurred, like. You don't really love Jay, go listen to Drake, bitch. You don't live in thoughts, son, what it take, bitch. Go listen to little baby, go listen to future bitch. Go some, you don't think about uh. your future bitch. Don't some fun and thumb, I don't know what this. Da da, now done, I'm gonna do with this. Pound a lamp, done a plan, don't think this. Chain found fun and thumb for you, fake bitch. You don't really love, yeah, go listen to Drake, bitch. You don't dun dun dun, I'm gonna do it. It sounds like bitch. a baby. Listen to little baby, like... listen to future bitch. <laughs> It sounds like a human child. Okay, this shit is ear grating. This is so fucking boring and ridiculous. Oh my god. Go listen to future bitch. But if I'm another thana for your future bitch, and I hope your baby daddy was a future tip, and I hope you sound a thana when you lose the kid. Oh god, this is so fucking this this is cringy as shit. <laughs> oh god. Stop. Just quit. Quit. You could have quit while you're ahead. Instead, you're on a huge downward spiral. Just just stop. Oh boy, but no, we got another 15 minutes of this shit. Again, like, where's this going? Like, it's so boring. empty this is so empty you guys gotta like pull it together a little bit here no they don't what am i saying people are gonna listen to this bullshit anyway for some reason <laughs> reading some of these comments on this video about the album and they, they all most of them tend to agree with me yeah kind of reiterating some of the stuff I've said already uh, I can't be playing with these diamonds. I can't be playing with this money. No way. But I'm still in the lamb on a Tesla. But I'm still in the lamb. It has no impact. It just has so like it started goofy, it got ridiculous, and, and the lyricism became horrible, and now it's just like trying to put me to sleep right now, honestly. Cook up the 
Every time you fuck them why you feel dirty Put you on a ting and you a New Jersey Met you in New York, Joe, you the New Jersey You don't need to work, girl, you too pretty You the reason why your fans bought I think women and fucking are on like Kanye's wine, uh, Kanye's mind a little too much for somebody this age. <laughs> Both Ty and Kanye have had lyrics about this shit at this point, I guess. Or, uh, future. <clears throat> Who else is on here? Oh, Lil Durk. Okay. Not an instantly recognizable voice. Mm-hmm. This one's got a little baby. God, there's such a lack of effort. This sounds preset. This beat sounds like a preset. The most unique beat that we've gotten so far was probably on the first song. And that's just because it sounded like ass. But it's because it sounded like a child made it. Or eighth grade me, for example. And that's why it's unique, because it sucks. <laughs> Can anyone seriously like sit and listen through this shit? Unless they're making a video about it? Like who's actually listening to this all the way through from front to back? Unless they need to for some reason, like with YouTube or reviewing it. The songs with Future were alright, the Lil Wayne song was alright till it got to the end and then it just fucking destroyed that track. And the one with Playboy Cardi, Don Tolliver, that was uh, Kodak Black, that was, you know, fine, I guess. And everything else has been the worst shit I have heard in a while. This one's so... Just subpar. This production is so lifeless. So lifeless. I wonder if Kanye has surrounded himself with a circle of people that just kind of keep up the, the stigma that he is still the greatest rapper of all time and just kind of like keep telling him that he's doing well. Right, just like a small circle to keep his self-esteem from shattering. Like they secretly know how trash this is, but they're just like, oh, just, you know, he's got millions of dollars. He doesn't need to do anything else for the rest of his life. Just let him think he's, he's good. This is so boring. Oh my God. Two more songs, right? Two more songs. Next one featuring designer. O70 Shake and who else? To he the prince. I I don't think I know who that is. 
in the sky, yeah, in the sky, yeah, sky, yeah. We just fly, yeah, we just fly, yeah, fly, yeah. Build a city in the sky, yeah, sky, yeah. Do heaven got a penthouse that I can rent out? I can see Rick James with his feet up on Prince couch. Always wanted to know did Biggie get a big house? Do Pac got a thug mansion? Is it pimped out? Is it a place for the Jews and the Gentiles? I heard street niggas ain't in the top percentile. Real fast, my wife wanna know, do y'all got a gym now? She talking about she's still trying to get her waist to slim down. Anyhow, forgive me for the taxes that I didn't file. I ain't even got back the money that I lent out. Can't even have a corona, shit is getting wild. Running oh, around tough shit. A tough shit. <laughs> like I'm Jim Brown. Oh yeah, I heard about your son that you sent down. I wish there was a place that I could send flowers. My OG wrote me from the joint, you know, like a pen pal. He asked if you could send a letter to the judge when he began trial. Cause we all know when he get now. Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Uh, Ooh, child, are get brighter. Oh, why, why would you butcher Ooh, shit like this? Things are gonna get easier. I'm going to sleep after this. I'm taking a nap. Oh my god. It's horrible. In the sky, in the sky, in the sky, we just fly, we just fly, fly. I don't know if this one was as preachy yeah. as Imagine. the first you vultures record and all the people that we lost um, we can dance with them. it's almost equally bad i do like i do see a couple tracks that are manageable and stretching. wouldn't necessarily offend and and a bunch of people we got to forgive our trespasses but transgressors mandela said it won't get as a whole i guess it i guess it's an improvement over the first vultures but what the hell does that even mean if they don't let us in then we going to have to gate out of the body uh jury is gotti um Series of Sadi, my spirit is godly. The features have been the best part by far. We can make millions from building a hobby. Part of factor, uh, re picking a car, part of factor, uh, re sending to college. He made it already with nothing to lose and free attitude with nothing to prove. We going big, I got a Jew playing the dead to get out the noose. I don't know, you joke point the deuce. I can't hear you at this album too. And they steady all right, first of all, I hate that transition. Second of all, they're stealing this preset beat directly from N.W.A.'s first album. It feels like they're referencing it, which they have no business doing. This song was just like a really weird amalgamation of elements that don't go together at all it's this is not like a statement it's not an epic no it's it's probably not what you thought it was gonna be last one it's called my soul no features great I'm, I'm expecting a ridiculously like anti-Semitic line to come to come here at the end. Sorry about that, everyone. We're gonna start from where we were almost done. Technical difficulties. Let's continue from the verse. Much 
In your humble opinion, okay. Fuck Adidas. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> My soul. All right, bro. Have fun with God. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry has a lot to say. It, it, it. I, I can feel your light up on me. Keep shining your light up on me. It feels like the less crazy and the more crazy duo that are like best friends by default. And one of them's trying to make something that like may appeal to somebody, and then his crazy friends like ruining everything. <laughs> Okay, that was Vultures too. This, my, like, my, 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 my only explanation in Kanye's case is that this is a, 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 an experiment, like a, like a social experiment. That, that would be the only thing that could explain this. E even after Vultures won. Oh, I, I don't really have anything good to say about it other than some of the features. Not even all the features, just some of the features. That's about it. Um, but pretty much everything that came out of the mouth of Kanye and a lot of shit that Ty Dolla Sign was throwing in there too was ridiculous. Uh, in some cases, hateful, close-minded, um, immature in a lot of cases. This is bad. This is bad. Like... Maybe an F plus. I don't think that rating would exist in my book, but yeah, an F, but like an F plus. Those are my thoughts, but I would love to hear yours. So throw them in the comments and I will read everything, I promise. And with that said, I hope you all have a fantastic evening and stay safe out there. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye and see ya. <laughs>